In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, and welcome to the Shrine and my Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawad. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins, and we ask God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through the childbearing of the Holy Virgin graciously revealed the radiance of your glory to the world, grant we pray that we may venerate with integrity of faith the mystery of the wondrous Son Incarnation, and always celebrate it with due reverence. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Judges. There was a certain man from Zora, of the clan of the Danites, whose name was Manoah. His wife was barren and had no born and had born no children. An angel of the Lord appeared to the woman and said to her, Though you are barren and have had no children, yet you will conceive and bear a son. Now then, be careful to take no wine or strong drink or to eat nothing unclean. As for the son you will conceive and bear, no razor shall touch his head, for this boy is to be consecrated to God from the womb. It is he who will begin the deliverance of Israel from the power of the Philistines. The woman went and told her husband, A man of God came to me. He had the appearance of an angel of God, terrible indeed. I did not ask him where he came from, nor did he tell me his name. But he said to me, You will be with child and bear a son. So take neither wine nor strong drink, and eat nothing unclean. For the boy shall be consecrated to God from the womb until the day of his death. The woman bore a son and named him Samson. The boy grew up and the Lord blessed him. The Spirit of the Lord steered him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My mouth shall be filled with your praise and I will sing your glory. My mouth shall be filled with your praise and I will sing your glory. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, and I will sing your glory. For you are my hope, O oh Lord, my trust, O oh God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, and I will sing your glory. I will treat of the mighty works of the Lord, O oh God, I will tell of your singular justice. O God, you have taught me from my youth until the present I proclaim your wondrous deeds. My mouth shall be filled with your praise and I will sing your glory. Please stand. of 
Jesus' stem, sign of God's love for all His people, come to save us without delay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the days of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah of the priestly division of Abijah. His wife was from the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. Both were righteous in the eyes of God observing all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blamelessly. But they had no child, because Elizabeth was barren, and both were advanced in years. Once when he was serving as priest, in his division stern before God, according to the practice of the priestly service, he was chosen by lot to enter the sanctuary of the Lord to burn incense. Then, when the whole assembly of the people was praying outside at the hour of the incense offering, the angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing at the right of the altar of incense. Zechariah was troubled by what he saw, and fear came upon him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, because your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall name him John. And you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He will drink neither wine nor strong drink will be filled with the Holy Spirit even from his mother's womb, and he will turn away many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. He will go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of fathers toward children and the disobedient to the understanding of the righteous to prepare a people fit for the Lord. Then Zechariah said to the angel, How shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife is advanced in years. And the angel said to him in reply, I am Gabriel who stand before God. I was sent to speak to you and to announce to you this good news. But now you will be speechless and able to talk until the day these things take place, because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled at the proper time. Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zechariah and were amazed that he stayed so long in the sanctuary. But when he came out, he was unable to speak to them and they realized that he had seen a vision in the sanctuary. He was gesturing to them, but remained mute. Then when his days of ministry were completed, he went home. After this time, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and she went into seclusion for five months, saying, So has the Lord done for me at a time when it's his feet to take away my disgrace before others. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Si Sikaraya at si San Jose ay magkapareho. Pareho silang pinakitaan ng anghel at sinabihan na ang kanilang asawa ay maglilihi. Si Sikaraya, kanyang asawa ay si Isabel. Si San Jose, ang kanyang asawa ay si Maria. May magkaiba sila dahil si San Jose, nang sinabihan siya ng anghel na maglilihi ang kanyang asawa, siya ay tumahimik at siya ay naniwala. Si Sikaraya, nang sinabihan siya ng anghel, hindi siya naniwala at siya ay nag-iingay. Ang daming tanong, nagduda. Kadahil maingay siya, Pinatahimik siya ng Diyos. Naging pipi. Hindi makapagsalita. Maingay ka ha. Eto, tumahimik ka. Sabi ng Diyos sa kanya. Ngayong palapit ng araw ng Pasko, ang daming ingay sa ating paligid. Parti dito, parti doon. Kantahan, kainan, sayawan, pasyalan, party uli, reunion, maingay.
Ba't ba tayo mahiling sa ingay? Kasi sa ingay, maiwasan natin marinig o makita ang mga bagay-bagay na ayaw nating harapin. Sa ingay, maiwasan natin harapin ang katotohanan ng mahirap tanggapin. Kasi sa katahimikan, marinig natin yung tinig ng Diyos. At ang tinig ng Diyos, katotohanan. At marami sa atin, takot harapin ang katotohanan. May mga bagay-bagay tayong tinatakasan at iniiwasan. Dinadala natin, dinadala natin sa iba, dinadala sa inom, nilunod sa alak, iba dinadala o nilunod sa ingay. Kaya, ang ganda magmisa ngayon, no? pagkatapos ng misang madaling araw, maraming tao, maingay. Ito, konti lang tayo, tahimik. Mas maganda magdasal at magsimba kapag katahimik. Mas solemne. Para bang kaharap mo ang Diyos? At ang Diyos, pag nagsalita, ginagamit ang lingwahe ng katahimikan. God speaks to us. In silence, and only the silent can listen. God speaks to us in silence, and only the silent can listen. Yung ayaw makinig sa tinig ng Dios na wari na kakatakot dahil katotohanan ay magtatago ka sa ingay. Kaya ngayong parating yung Pasko, sana maglaan tayo ng sandali ng katahimikan. Yung makapagnilay tayo, makapagdasal tayo, makapag-isip tayo, makagawa ng tamang desisyon. Yung bang sa katahimikan, tatanungin mo sarili mo, ano ba talaga ang hinahanap ko sa Pasko? Sino ba talang hinihintay ko sa Pasko? Si Santa Claus o si Kristo? Ano ba talang gusto ko? Sino ba mga taong dapat kong lapitan at kausapin? Sino ba yung mga taong gusto ko maging kapiling ko talaga ngayong Pasko? Ano bang hinahanap ng puso ko? Ano bang kulang sa akin? Ano bang tunay na makapagpasaya sa akin? Ano bang tinatakasan ko? Ano bang kinatatakutan ko? Ito yung mga tanong na maaari lamang sagutin sa katotohanan. Kung duwag ka, tatakasan mo to. Magpapakalunod ka sa ingay. Kaya maganda itong ebanghelyo natin ngayon. Si Sakaryas, maingay. Eto, tumahimik ka. Para makita mo kung ano ang gusto ng Diyos para sa iyo. Kaya habang nalalapit yung araw ng Pasko, ito, tad ang ginawa ninyo. Hmm? Huwag pakalunod sa ingay. Maglaan ng sandali ng katahimikan. Magsimba. Magdasal ng taimtim. At pakinggan ang marahang tinig ng Panginoon. Kasi ang Panginoon di yan sumisigaw eh. Ang Diyos hindi sumisigaw. Halos bubulong siya. Kaya nga dumating siya on a silent night. Holy night. Tahimik. Doon darating ang Diyos sa mga pusong tahimik at handang makinig. Hilingin natin sa ating Panginoon at sa ating mahal na ina. Panginoon, mahal na ina, birhen ng manawag, pahupain mo ang ingay sa loob ng puso at isipan ko. Yung ingay ng takot, yung ingay ng galit, yung ingay ng duda, yung ingay ng pangamba, yung ingay ng duda, lahat ng negatibong mga bagay, maingay. Bigyan mo ako ng katahimikan at kapayapaan, Panginoon at mahal na ina, nang sa ganon, unti-unti kong matanggap ang tunay na diwa ng Pasko na walang iba kundi ang pananahan ni Kristo 
sa puso ko. Sitayo po tayo. God is never outdone in generosity. In due time, He will grant the aspirations of His people. In confidence, we implore Him, and our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that even in the midst of uncertainties, we may continue to trust in the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that, like Zechariah and Elizabeth, may parents welcome children with love and responsibility. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That there may be many young people who will generously respond to the call to the priestly and consecrated life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may heal the sick and bring comfort to the dying. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our departed ones may be welcomed into the joy of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions of this Mass, and in the silence of our hearts, we present to the Lord our own personal intentions. Lord, fill us with your Spirit, that you may welcome our Savior with joy and gladness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, and the offerings we lay upon your altars, that what we bring despite our weakness may be sanctified by your power, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is to be right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Now, in loving confidence, we pray to our Father in the words Christ taught us. Si kami anarian mo, 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not look on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Here is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. As we give thanks, Almighty God, for these gifts you have bestowed, graciously arousing us, we pray, the desire for those yet 
to come, that you may welcome the Nativity of our Savior and honor it with minds made pure. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo at pakikiisa sa banal na misa at patuloy po nating pagnilay-nilayan at isabuhay ang mensahe ng ating Ebanghelyo para sa misang to. Sa gitna ng ingay na dala ng uh, uh, pagsalubong sa Christmas, huwag natin kalimutang maglaan ng sandali ng katahimikan nang sa ganon marinig natin ang marahang tinig ng ating Panginoon. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of the Mass is ended. Go to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all sickness and restore them to good health. To the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, candles, images, oils, scapulars, crucifixes, other articles of devotion be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah.